Hey, Mr. Old Man. What do you want? Don't you want to make a review on your Emerson CQC7? Yeah, I did, but I just don't have any energy today. Come on, don't you want to talk about how bad it is and how it's such a horrible knife? Not really. I've been carrying it around recently and it's actually pretty good. Unacceptable. You have to tell the world how horrible it is and how they should never buy one. I'm sorry, how are you talking again? <laughs> These are the, uh, the lazy skits you get from, uh, from me. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Man here. Really, really chilled out and mellow. I've only been up for like six hours and it's, um, seven. Because I didn't wake up till 1230. Because apparently if you stay up until 2 a.m., have like a quart, like a ton of gin. Yeah, you're obviously just going to sleep in. I mean, I was, that was the longest I've ever slept. But, it's over. I think I learned my lesson. I think I'm done drinking. Oh, look. Here's my, uh. Leftovers. <laughs> Empty bottle. Anyway, <clears throat> I have a product that I want to make a review on for a while. Because I was kind of divided when I first bought it. And then after I had some time playing around with it, messing around with it, experiencing it, I come to the realization that it's not as bad as I originally thought. And uh, we'll get to the reason I'm semi-biased against this company and it's not their fault. <laughs> it's user error. Anyway, uh, so the item I want to talk to you about is the Emerson CQC7. And we'll move you in close here, so it's, it blends in with my shirt's camouflage, so you're not going to be able to see anything at all. So I'm going to get you up close, and you only have to deal with my face for like five seconds here, okay? Here you go. So I guess we're going to use Doom as a backtrack. Oh, wait, what is this? Mr. Man has a PS4? Yeah, but um, yeah, I'm still waiting for it to come. Anyway, here's your knife. This is your Emerson CQC7. Let's move Doom out of the way. This isn't going to blend in as bad as I thought. So, Emerson CQC7. Let's go over the basics with it. You got your black handles, which are G10. Titanium liners, which are nice. It got a pretty decent heft to it. I don't remember the exact specs. You can look them up on Emerson's website. This is the waved model, which is awesome. We'll get to that in a second. Got your little lanyard loop back healer for your lanyards. Lanyards. And here's something I really, really like about it. See your pivot screw? It's a flathead. See your body screws right there? Yeah, there you go. I was going to say Torx. They're not Torx. They're uh, Phillips. <laughs> See, I'm so used to using Torx and stuff on knives that uh, having standard standard screws are confusing me now. I'm so confused. I believe right here, let's zoom you in right there. Those are Phillips as well for your pocket clip. And you have a one position pocket clip. Um, primarily, I wish that it was left handed as well, but it primarily has to do with your wave function. And that is your little hook right here. You get it hooked onto your pants and it pops a knife open for you. Faster than a switchblade, legal in pretty much everywhere. Every Legal in everywhere. Duh, wherever knives are legal. Let's open this up here manually, manually. Pretty decent sized knife. Uh, I wanna say three and a half inch blade. It's not too horribly long, but you have a chisel grind on that sucker. Right there, see it there? Can you see it? I don't know the best way to, um, Show you a chisel grind on a knife, but there you go. See your, your bevel right there, and you don't have a bevel there. Let's flip over here. See your blade engraving. I don't know if it's going to focus on this. You might. If it does, I'll be very surprised. It's not focusing. I wonder if I can put my hand behind it. I need a better camera. Oh my god. Nope, not going to really focus, but anyway. Pretty nice blade. I love me a black tanto. I got in a discussion at work with a guy who was saying like black tantos are, I don't know, they're scary military knives. Nobody needs them. I'm like, yeah, no, that's the stuff that uh, gets me excited. Really excited is a black tanto blade. All right. Let's see how sharp this sucker is if I can get myself a piece of sticky note here because this is like the only thing I got hanging around. Being a, oh, this is going to be problematic. See, look at that. So that's right. And this is factory edge. Very sharp indeed. I always do the, uh, where'd my piece of paper go? Woo, gotta clean up. Clean up after myself. It's like the only thing I do clean up after myself. What? I like me a chisel grind because they are easier to sharpen. I mean, this is a factory edge, and I don't have to really sharpen my knives too often. I've got fuzz on the edge there. I don't have to sharpen my knives too often because I'm not a extremely hard user on a knife. If I'm going to use a knife really hard, I'm going to use like a disposable box cutter or something because um, I don't like to abuse mine. I like to keep them sharp for emergencies, and your interpretation of emergency may differ from mine. Everyone thinks, oh, emergency weapon knife, you know, self-defense, um, killing someone. But uh, no, emergency can be you're stuck in a car and you have to cut your seatbelt. See, there you go. 
So that could be one possibility for an emergency. Anyway, back to the knife. You got yourself a liner lock. And a little bit of gimp gimping up here. Locks in your hand pretty well. Not too horribly. There's no finger choil, so that's kind of a downside I give to it because I like myself to have a finger choil on it. But the knife is grippy enough where I don't feel like I'm going to let go of it. So, yeah, it's not that bad. And you got your jimping up there. Thumb disc opening. I'll show you. Thumb disc's pretty nice. I wonder if I can pop it open without killing myself. Nope. I have mine tightened up pretty tight. And, yeah, I can't do it behind the camera here. I'm going to end up slicing the heck out of it. Nope, not going to do it. I have mine tightened up pretty tight due to the fact that I believe that the detent to keep the knife open is actually... If you can see an extra little piece in there right above my thumb. I think that's actually a detent because... Once your blade goes in, the liner does not move in. See? No, wait. Hang on a second. I'm sorry. It's actually farther on in the knife. There's an extra little cutout in there. It's almost impossible to see. I got fuzz in there. <laughs> there we go. It's really hard to see, but I believe there is a secondary detent, and the detent is not on the liner, which is kind of odd. And that poses my issue that I had with the knife. See how... Well, liner locks by design, they'll stay open. Like... See your tip sticking out there? You can cut yourself on it. And I did. I cut myself really bad. And I will show you how I did right now. All right. Yeah, nice. Nice waste of crotch shot of me. Yeah, that's just what everyone wants to see right now. Look at Murder of Crows. Huh? Oh, Bioshock Infinite is awesome. I must replay it. Oh, you can tell I don't have much energy. All right. Here's your knife. Your Emerson CQC7. Speed on it's really good. Now, since I have room, I can do that. And my wrist. I haven't been able to make this video for a couple days because you can kind of see it. But I sprained my wrist. Something fierce. So I haven't really been able to <laughs> pop knives open like that. I tried one night. I was talking to my mom. I popped a knife open. She heard me scream. She probably thought I stabbed myself. But anyway, very nice opening on that sucker. So the wave feature on this, we'll show you the wave and then how I hurt myself on it. You grab your knife and when you pull it out of your pocket, the hook will catch on the edge of your pocket. And I suggest doing this on a pair of jeans. Don't do it on dress pants. You'll destroy them. You could do it, but don't practice it on dress pants. I mean, if you, you know, worst case scenario if you had to pop it open. But, just pop the sucker open, you grab it, run it along the back side of your pants, pops it right open for you. Now, I like the wave function due to the fact that it pops open really fast. However, my problem with it is that when you grab it and pull it out of your pants, pull it out, oops, see it didn't open up all the way there. That's a problem, I didn't do it fast enough. Fast and hard enough, yeah! Like that. Now you have it in this sort of grip. You can see my hands are still shaking because uh, I'm probably still somewhat hung over. <laughs> so you have it in this grip and you have to shift your grip. I had a solution to that problem. If you carry it left-handed, like this, and if you pop the knife open that way, you can go straight into reverse grip. Here's where the problem came about. Knife's clipped in your pocket like this. Blade pops open slightly. You go to reach in Guess what happens? You cut your thumb. That's what happened to me. <laughs> so I had a negative view of Emerson's because I figured, oh, the blades aren't, um, they, the retention sucks on them. But they're not that bad because actually any liner lock would have done that. Um, when you're holding, when the knife's in your pocket like this, if it opens up, it's going to hit the edge of your pocket. And unless you stick your thumb behind it, you're not going to hurt yourself. So they're actually pretty safe as long as you carry them how they were designed. And don't just like leave it loosely. See? If you don't do it at the right motion, I'm not the, I'm not the uh, most proficient. Actually, it's probably because I have my Plasmatic X, woo, and a crook ton of keys in my pocket. These jeans are kind of tight. There we go. And I, like I said, I'm not the most proficient. So I'm just give it a little twist. Ah, I suck. Nope. See, I was doing it good a minute ago, but you, you get the general idea. Wow, has this been the most yeah. whack? Ah, oh, you're crooked. That's the one thing I will never get. There's a straight camera work. Get in my pocket, you stupid set of freaking keys. Oh my god, why do we even carry you around? This has probably been the most lackluster review I have ever done. Because I'm just so low in energy right now and I really don't care. But yeah, so my PS4 is supposed to be coming tomorrow and I gotta finish up Wolfenstein because I started playing Wolfenstein A New Order, which is actually made by Bethesda, which made Doom, which is awesome. Wolfenstein is an awesome fast-paced shooter. I like it. I like it. Maybe not as much as I like Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. I finished that last night, right before I got... And woo! Right before I did all that. 
actually in the middle of doing all that, and then I just have to do it in the morning, waiting for both sides to install. But yeah, depression will do stuff to you like that. Um, we yeah, Metal Gear Solid 2 was awesome. I think it's probably one of the best Metal Gear games as far as story wise, because it is such an awesome storyline. I was just playing it like the last little bit of it, and I was just like, oh my god, this is so complicated, but yet it's so awesome. And I want to play Metal Gear Solid 4, but I just didn't feel like going on another Metal Gear Solid binge. But anyway, I'm gonna get out of here. I gotta work tomorrow, so I can't stay up too late. You, hopefully, you've. Ah, hmm, I'm stuffing. Oh, no, that's so attractive. There goes all my female viewers. Not that any females viewed this video. But yeah, so. See, and I pulled out of my pocket, and it just opened up like that. That's why you have to be careful with the weight. They can accidentally open. So be careful. But. Emerson CQC7s, I think, are awesome. 154 CM steel. I'm gonna blame it. I don't think I mentioned that. At least 154 CM. Should be. Maybe. 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 Made in the USA. Which is awesome. And, uh. About I mean, 170-ish dollars. Well spent, I think, if you need a fast knife. Obviously, you can get something bigger, better, stronger for cheaper. But, then again, the Emersons are, they do good, cool factor. They, I mean, there's something about a black tanto that I like. I like me black tanto. Let's go black, you never go back. I wouldn't know that. I never know even white. Take care.